French President Emmanuel Macron has reiterated that he hasn't ruled out sending troops to Ukraine. He told The Economist the issue would, quote, legitimately arise if Russia broke through Ukrainian front lines and if Kyiv made such a request. To tell us more, Philip Tell, our foreign editor, is with me. Philip, first of all, just expand a bit then on what Macron said in that interview. Right, well, uh, this interview in The Economist is quite wide-ranging, covering uh, the war in Ukraine, the visit coming up next week to France of uh, Xi Jinping, the Chinese president, the future of Europe. Uh, so one of the questions was, of course, about the war in Ukraine and Europe's involvement. And coming back to this uh, subject of whether or not France would be willing to send troops to Ukraine. And uh, President Macron, uh, first of all, saying that Russia had broken all the rules, uh, that it was uh, a threat and abandoned respect for uh, international treaties. And therefore, he absolutely stood uh, by what he said, uh, which is that uh, troops could be sent to Ukraine, as you can see from the quote behind me. As I said, I'm not ruling out anything because we are facing someone who is not ruling anything out. We have undoubtedly been too hesitant by defining the limits of our action to someone who no longer has any and who is the aggressor. So uh, this is something that Emmanuel Macron has returned to, uh, brought up again. And in this interview with The Economist, he's actually said that he has received support from quite a few other European nations saying that it was a courageous move and a courageous step. But I think the underlining issue here is a much wider one. What President Macron is really concerned about is the future of Europe. He says that Europe is not prepared militarily for the situation in which it sees itself right now. The European Union was willing to try to build up an economy on its own and to bring in new members, but militarily, militarily it is not uh, in line with the United States, for example, with Russia and other countries, uh, and now is facing these threats from outside, uh, particularly from Russia and from Iran, and it's time now that uh, the European Union and Europe itself uh, got its act together, and that's why the French troops could be sent to Ukraine if necessary, but only if the Ukrainian authorities asked them to come to the country. They wouldn't go to the front line. They'd probably be brought in uh, to train uh, Ukrainian forces or to act uh, for bringing in supplies. Mm. Uh, Philip, let's talk about a different aspect of the war in Ukraine now, because the United States has accused Russia of using chemical weapons on the battlefield. Tell us about that. Well, there are reports coming out uh, from the U.S. State Department. This is uh, after uh, reports from Ukrainian forces on the ground that uh, Russia is using a an agent called chloropicrin, which was used during the First World War. And it's being described as a choking agent, which can cause irritation to the eyes and can lead to respiratory problems. Uh, and what uh, the Ukrainian forces are saying is that there's been an increase in the use of this agent since uh, the Russians launched their latest offensive to try to take back uh, or to capture villages uh, in the east of Ukraine. This agent is basically being used to dislodge Ukrainian forces from difficult areas where uh, they will not easily uh, give up their territory. Uh, in total um, uh, non-respect of uh, international treaty, which Russia itself signed against uh, the use of chemical weapons, uh, the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons, uh, which has been signed and ratified by uh, Russia. So, of course, uh, this is something that uh, the Russians themselves have uh, said is not true. Dmitry Peskov, the spokesperson for uh, the Kremlin, was asked about this, and he said, no, it's totally untrue. This is all lies. But, of course, you can't take anything that Russia says uh, to be uh, truthful right at the moment moment. But if it is true, this is uh, certainly something that is totally uh, banned on the international front and that's something Russia should not be doing.